All right, so I got babyless clipper. I'm going to go all the way closed with the clipper. I want the clipper to go directly against the comb. You can see the little bevel here of how the blade kind of works in and work it across the comb, just like that. Scoop this hair up and I'm gonna work towards the face, running my clipper along the comb. Same thing here. So I'll comb the hair forward. I scoop and work down the hair shaft. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Now I'm working horizontal on the back. I'm working horizontal here, but my line looks like this, coming straight up from the head. You can see the head shape peels away right here. As I work, watch, cut, cut. My comb comes out to the same spot as I work. And then naturally, because of the line that I'm creating, starts to work even more away from the head because the head starts to peel away in the crown. So the head's starting to move. I'm coming straight up still, because this is my line, right? So this hair gets longer and showcases the head shape. I want to take out a little bit of bulk without actually elevating it anymore. So I'll work diagonal into the hair, just like this, all the way around. Take some of that weight out. I'm just working, the weight line was all through here, so that's where I'm sliding in at a diagonal, home up this hair that I don't want to work into it, and put a Velcro clip. Velcro clips are awesome. So then that way I'm only working on the little area that I want to work on. Expose his ear just a little bit. Then I take that out, and I've still got that texture over top of it. Lift it, and then you slide the Velcro clip in, holds the hair. We'll let out the top. Center point is in the cowlick. So I comb everything around that cowlick in the direction that it's going to be worn. So this is one, then we go two, then we go three, then we go four to halfway. Then we go two, three, four to halfway. That's the back. All of that is traveling and we're working our way around. I take section one and I bring it over to section two. When I grab section two, I comb section one to section two and I cut that there. Then I drop section one off back at its house, right? I bring section two over to section three's house. Like that, cut it. Then I drop section two off at its house, bring three to four's house. Section one tying it into section two, and I'm going to use point cutting to give myself a little bit of texture. Section three, comb it out, bring two over top of three, cut it, point cut, two back where it lives, finish off section four. Like that. Top is simple. I wanna keep a lot of this length and I wanna keep most of the length in the middle of this haircut, taking a, a parting along the top and bringing everything over to this point right here. You can see that line underneath. That's where you're gonna cut it. And remember, this line is gonna continue like this, not like this. So I take another section and what's happening now as I'm moving up the head, taking hair from further away and bringing it further away from where it lives to cut it. It's going to create length. So that longest point is now working its way to the other side. The same thing on this side, guys. Click or bring it over. See your guide underneath. Point cut and work that line. So see all that length that we get? What I notice that most kids are looking for is they want it to be not in their eyes, they want it to be just above it. I like to go with the wet cut and they're gonna kind of wear it wet. So don't pull too much tension down. Just come into it, light tension. I'm using wide teeth of the comb. And then I just kind of go a little bit to the eye and then I'll lift up a little bit and I'll just start point cutting into it straight across the bridge of the nose. Let me give you, show you the whole result. Here. 